Welcome to day four of my seven day experiment in using an iPod Touch as my only computer. Now today I want to talk about entertainment. I mentioned in the introductory video for this series that uh, I don't actually own a television. I watch TV uh, on my computer through streaming video. What I usually use is Hulu. I have uh, the Hulu desktop program and also uh, sometimes I just watch it right through uh, Firefox on my web browser. And I subscribe to a bunch of TV shows, and whenever there's a new show, it shows up in my queue, and I click on it and watch it. I do have this new service called Hulu Plus, which gives you additional content, plus lets you watch your shows on mobile devices. So I thought I would uh, check this out. Um, I found out that they have a... Uh, seven day free trial period then after that I think it's eight dollars a month to subscribe and because I'm doing a one week uh, experiment here maybe I can use that to as the free week after looking into it a little further I decided not to sign up for Hulu Plus now the shows that I watch uh, on Hulu not all of them are available on Hulu Plus. So the, the Hulu Plus application or app is free to download onto my iPod Touch and it has a few sample shows there, uh, a few TV shows and uh, a couple movies. And I tried that, it works great. So I'm sure if I were to subscribe I'd be able to stream uh, content onto my iPod with no problem. The problem is the shows that I watch on the website are not available on Hulu Plus. At first I thought that subscribing would mean you get the free content, plus in addition to that you get the paid content. Uh, but that's not true. Um, you just get the paid content, you don't get the free. So I was not able to subscribe and watch my usual shows, mostly the sci-fi shows. Uh, on my iPod. So I decided not to do that. Now the other option for streaming video on, uh, on an iPod is Netflix. And it has a similar deal I think. You can you can download the Netflix app for free uh, but to actually use it you have to subscribe. And because this is only a one week experiment I'm not really going to do this forever so I figured I I wouldn't bother subscribing to a service like that. I can do with limited uh, entertainment for one week. The other option for watching video on the iPod is of course YouTube. And there's three ways of doing that. There's a YouTube app, which in my opinion um, is good for watching videos, but that's it. You know, you can look at your subscriptions to look at your favorited videos, the most popular videos. That's pretty much it. You can't really interact with the website, like you can't uh, really do much with comments or, or liking videos. There's a, a limited feature there, but it's not really, it's mostly for watching, not for really uh, interacting with other people. And of course you can go to YouTube using the uh, Safari web browser. And when you first go there, it loads the mobile version. And it's good that they've made a mobile uh, version of their website. But again, it's very limited. You can just basically go there and look at your uh, your subscription queue, and uh, that's almost that's pretty much it. Um, at the bottom is a, a link where you, you tap on that. You can go to uh, your the desktop version. And from there, you can get into your inbox and uh, do comments and and whatever. So I guess this week I'm mostly just using YouTube for entertainment. Plus of course uh, listening to music. I do have some music on my iPod, believe it or not. So that is it for today. I'm halfway through the experiment. I'm surviving so far. Uh, thanks for watching.